I have a lot of fun testing different types of products. I'm really excited about today's video testing jet fuel in a gasoline engine. If that weren't enough, we're also going to test it in a rotor engine, thanks to a good friend of mine, Matt, from the Warp Perception YouTube channel, sending me one to use. Now, Matt said this rotary engine is extremely durable and could take a lot of abuse. But I'm not sure he was anticipating just how much abuse we're going to expose it to with jet fuel. We're going to see if we can get this thing to spin up past 30,000 RPM and just let this thing scream. So let's get the testing underway with jet fuel. We'll be using this engine with a see-through cylinder head to see how the flame color changes compared to regular gasoline. We're going to try to get this small engine run on jet fuel to see how it runs and also whether it overheats and if there's any sort of difference in power. If we can get an engine with the carburetor run on jet fuel, how about a fuel injected engine? We're going to apply a load to see how it performs. Okay, now that we've got our baseline complete with gasoline, I'm going to go ahead and let this cool off. Then I'll remove the cylinder head, clean up the inside of the combustion chamber, put it back together, and we'll get this engine running on some jet fuel. The safety data sheet covers several different things such as jet fuel, jet fuel stock, jet A, aviation, jet fuel, JP5, and JP8. So what exactly are the main ingredients? Not surprisingly, the main ingredient is kerosene, but it also contains naphthalene, xylene, benzene, ethyl benzene, and tulane. If you're ever looking at a safety data sheet and you want to get very specific, recommend looking up these CAS numbers online and you can get a lot more information about each one of the ingredients. The engine actually ran fairly good on jet fuel. Once this engine cools off, we'll run a compression check, take the cylinder head off, take a look inside to see how it looks. The amount of carbon buildup inside this engine actually isn't too bad. Not a whole lot on the cylinder head. With that said, there is quite a bit around the intake valve and down around the exhaust valve. This engine was likely running a little bit lean because the viscosity of kerosene is a little bit greater than gasoline. And this has a non-adjustable carburetor on it. This engine previously had bacon grease in it. I did do a couple of oil changes, but there's probably a little bit of bacon grease still inside this engine having an impact on the carbon buildup. Now that our baseline test with gasoline is complete, we're going to go ahead and add some jet fuel to this generator to see if it's going to run.
The generator actually seems to run better on jet fuel than it does on E10 gasoline. I really had fun testing out the jet fuel just to see how it would perform in this generator. I'm actually surprised at how well it worked. Okay, I drained the fuel tank of all the gasoline. I'm gonna go ahead and add the jet fuel. And while this engine is hot, we'll see if it'll actually run. A big thank you to Matt from the Warp Perception YouTube channel. He has a lot of great videos. Highly recommend checking out his channel, including some slow motion video footage of this rotary engine running. It's very impressive the way he's built this thing. We're going to see if we can get this running on RC racing fuel first. And if it does, we're going to see what it does on jet fuel. Well, I had a lot of fun testing jet fuel in a gasoline engine, and I really enjoyed testing it in this rotary engine. Now, the engine did survive this time, so I better send it back before I destroy this rotary engine. Matt put a lot of time and effort into designing and building this thing, and I definitely don't want to cause any harm to it. Now, I definitely do not recommend using jet fuel in a gasoline engine of any sort, just because it's probably going to have a lot of pre-ignition due to the low octane, and over time, that will definitely cause engine harm. Just want to say thanks so much for all the video ideas you guys are providing. I really do look forward to reading your comments this time and your future video ideas. As usual, thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and look forward to next time.